Are you thinking about moving to the Harrisburg, Central Pennsylvania area? And you're so excited, you hold your horses. Not everything about living in Harrisburg is rainbows and butterflies. And in today's video, we're gonna answer some of those questions you may have about living around the Harrisburg area. And we're just gonna go ahead and get real with it right now. So you might be wondering, Aaron and Josh, why are you making a video about the negative aspects of living in Harrisburg if you're trying to attract business here? Well, the answer is simple and we've mentioned this before. We are trying to give you a balanced approach, uh, a balanced understanding of the Harrisburg metropolitan area. So you're informed when you move here. You might be moving here for a number of different reasons, but whatever those reasons are, you're going to want to know this information. No place is perfect. None. We've we've been all, I've been all over the world, and I've lived in a lot of different places. I've showed a lot of homes. No place is perfect. I love Harrisburg. That's why, as an adult, I moved back to this area. Uh, but again, we come back to that time and time again that we want to give you a balanced understanding, and that's what Aaron and I seek to do here with this channel. If you like our channel, please subscribe. Uh, tap that bell for notifications so you can be the first to know of all the new content coming from the Living in Central PA team so we can help you make that smooth move to the area. So again, back to a couple of things that um, people in this area might see as downsides. Okay, you know, we've mentioned some of these in the past in some of our other videos. I'm going to start with the economic climate here. Um, the, the, the Harrisburg metropolitan area has seen some economic decline over the last several years for various reasons. A lot of those go back to mishandling of, of funds and, and bad leadership, mayoral and, and otherwise in the city and in, in the different areas, uh, but that has trickled down. Uh, and it has affected businesses with some a lot of places closing and, and prices going up uh, in the city and parking being a nightmare, to, just to mention a couple of things. Um, however, if there are certain specializations, which uh, if you are in those fields, you will have very little problem getting, getting employment in this area. Some of those include healthcare, of course. We have some world-class hospitals in this area, so if you're an RN or, of course, an, an MD or a PA, you're going to have success finding work in this area. If you have a law degree or if you're a lobbyist or if you work in public policy or anything like that, uh, administrative government, anything like that, you, there's a lot of options for you. Uh, other than that, uh, there are s certainly private sector things that you can get involved in. You can work for the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, although the state jobs don't, you know, you're not going to get rich uh, working for the state, but there are certain benefits to that as well. Uh, but again, if you're in marketing or if you work in the creative side of things or in advertising uh, or you're trying to, you know, reach clients all around the world, you might want to be in a bigger market like Philadelphia or New York or Baltimore or Chicago. And we totally understand that. But again, great place to live here in Harrisburg. Want to reiterate that because the good comes with the bad. And you don't have to take my word for it. Look at US News and World Report. You may have heard of them. I, I hope that you have heard of them uh, if you're an informed consumer. Uh, they just recently did two reports with Harrisburg mentioned among them. One of them put Harrisburg 38th in places to live out of 150 metropolitan areas in all of the United States. So I like those numbers. Uh, it also put Harrisburg at the top of the list in terms of places to retire. Um, and I think both of those have merit to, merit to them and both of those, I back up both of those claims by US News and World Report. So thank you for that and check that out. You don't have to take my word for it, you can, you can take uh, the report's word. So those are a couple of things about the area that we wanted to kind of give you a glimpse of to start with. Um, another one of those would be the education system in the area. Uh, the, you know, the ratings that you'll find on, on Better Schools and Niche.com certainly are not glowing reviews, but uh, there are certain aspects, uh, depending on the school district, that are stronger than others. 
Uh, certainly Cumberland Valley, which is one of the schools that we've talked about, is one of the better schools in the state. Uh, so are, there are exceptions to this rule. Uh, but if you're living in Harrisburg City or the, you know, the, uh, so, some of the other school districts in the area, you might want to do some research on those because public opinion around public education in the area sometimes has not always uh, been 10 out of 10. Uh, a couple things to think about before moving to Harrisburg. All right, so number three on our list today is going to be the crime rate in and around Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. First, we're gonna focus on the city of Harrisburg because that's where the higher crime rate is going to be. If you've seen a video, one of our original videos from about eight months ago, we did a video on the pros and cons of living in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. One of the cons was the crime rate. Back then it was about a C minus, which was actually up from a D the year before. So a little bit of an improvement there. But just remember, like any metropolitan area, there's gonna be pockets of higher crime throughout the city. Now, if you look at the overall metropolitan area, places like the suburbs of Harrisburg, or even the West Shore, Camp Hill, Mechanicsburg, or Carlisle, you're gonna have very good crime rates there. I believe Camp Hill is about an A minus, uh, Mechanicsburg is about an A, Carlisle was a B plus. So the overall metropolitan area, you're looking pretty good there. Next is going to be traffic congestion. Uh, that seems to be a little bit of a problem because Harrisburg is the capital city of Pennsylvania. So you're going to have higher traffic rates coming in and out of the city. Now, if you're moving from places like California, New Jersey, New York, then this is not going to be a problem for you. It's actually, actually going to look much better than where you're at. But if you're moving from places that are less congested, you know, less of a metropolitan area, then this is definitely going to be a concern for you. Um, in and around Harrisburg, since Harrisburg is the capital city of Pennsylvania, you're going to see higher traffic rates coming in and out of the city, especially in the morning commute and the evening commute. Places like Interstate 81, Interstate 83, 581, which is the capital beltway, um, same with on the West Shore, places like 11 and 15, and the infamous Carlisle Pike, where we just were a little bit earlier today, just grabbing some lunch and it took about 15 to 20 minutes to get there but that's going to definitely be a concern you want to look at if you're moving into the area if you're not already used to it if you are used to it then you're good to go but that'll be number four on today's list to look out for next is going to be limited public transportation now if you're moving from an area that has a subway or a regional line or a very intricate uh, bus system, the moving here might take some getting used to. Uh, we don't have a subway, we don't have a regional line. Of course we have Capital Area Transit, our CAT bus system which serves both the East and West Shore and will take you most of where you want to go and their schedules are readily available online or on the mobile phone. If you're living in Harrisburg proper, uh, there are bike share systems uh, on Front Street. They just put in a large bike lane, so a lot of commuters do uh, cycle downtown. It, as funny as that might sound nowadays, it, it, it's still very prevalent here in Harrisburg. Very cycle-friendly town. Uh, of course, Uber has changed the game, so that's always an option. Um, but there is no regional line. There is Amtrak, of course. We've got a, a station here in Harrisburg, and you can take that line to New York, to Philadelphia, to, to D.C. with ease. Uh, so getting around is not tough, but of course, limited public transportation was, was the name of the game here. So we've got the Capital Area Transit System. Uh, you've got, of course, uh, Uber, and uh, having a vehicle would probably be in your best interest uh, versus if you lived in a, in a larger city. Um, you've got a great highway system here. Things are very close to each other. So uh, if you want to get a car, uh, parking's not that much of an issue. Having a car in this area would be in your best interest for sure. So this next one comes up quite a bit and it's weather. Now you've probably heard us mention this several times if you watch our videos, but if you've done research on the pros and cons of moving here, you might've very well found that on your own or heard from from people or, or seen on the news, what have you, that we do deal with cold winters and snow. Um, you know, the springtime is rainy and the summers are hot and steamy, so we deal with, with all nature of weather. Um, now, we don't have uh, the, the natural sort of 
disaster style events like the hurricanes or the tornadoes or the wildfires like certain other regions of the country, at least not often. Um, but we do, we do have our specific weather events here and those are hot summers and they're cold winters. We've had blizzards here, we've had multiple feet of snow, we've had floods uh, because of a lot of rain. Today's a great example. Aaron and I wanted to go out and shoot some content today, um, but it's certainly not, you know, 80 and sunny like it would be in Los Angeles or, uh, or, 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 or other parts of the country. You know, it's uh, gray and rainy uh, and in the 40s and a little cool outside with a, with a wind. So it's not ideal to be outside and we're looking at that weather for the next few days. So here we are inside making the best of it. Um, but you know, you need to be aware of that if you're moving to the area. You know, in terms of how uh, how often you need to change the tires in your car and the kind of wardrobe that you need to keep, and just being prepared for for certain weather events at various times of the year. Because let's be honest, it can be a pain in the butt. I want to be outside today. I don't want to be cold and, and shivering. I don't want to be you know sweating through my my shirt in a meeting uh, in the middle of uh, the dog days of summer. But it's part of the situation is par for the course here in central Pennsylvania. And like I said, all places have their idiosyncratic weather events and that's part of ours. So keep that in mind if you're moving from a, a tropical sort of temperate climate. Um, but again, those of you that are up in the Northeast, it's not gonna be anything that you don't, uh, you don't understand or that you're not accustomed to. All right, so we're going to wrap up this video. Our last negative of living here in the Harrisburg area is going to be limited shopping options. And as of recently, our options are even getting lower with the closing of the Harrisburg East Mall. Now, some people might say, hey, you still have the Harrisburg West Mall, but that doesn't exist. Also, the Colonial Park Mall, which is not too far away from the Harrisburg East Mall, is also having difficulties, lost some shop owners in that as well. We still have the Capital City Mall, which is located in Camp Hill. If you've seen our video on Camp Hill, you know a little bit about that. Um, so if you're looking for larger shopping options, you're gonna have to do a little bit of traveling. Take for instance, in Lancaster, you have the Lancaster Outlets, probably about an hour, hour and a half away. Also the Hershey Outlets, you have a good bit of stores out there as well. Um, next is going to be King of Prussia, which is probably about an hour to an hour and 15 minute drive. That's one of the largest malls in the whole entire country. So you do have those options, but our local, if you want to travel 5-10 minutes, they're going to be a little bit limited. So definitely take that into consideration when you're thinking about moving here to the Harrisburg area. All right, so that is going to wrap up our video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you want to see more just like it, make sure you subscribe below and tap the bell for notifications because we want to help you make a smooth move to the area. This has been Aaron and Josh with the Living in Central PA team. Until next time, like always, keep it real.